Good morning. Note to self. If you're going to vape in your truck and then turn on a camera, open your windows. It's smoky in here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's too loud. There's trucks idling. If I turn, open a window right now to, to, to get it out, it'll... Uh... Why didn't somebody tell me my beard was going crazy here? It's getting out of hand. Anyway... It's on the agenda today. On the agenda today, we've got, uh, we're in Harbor Creek right now. So we've got, we got to run down to Midland and we have to deliver a load. We got to reload up in Ohio and, uh, we should be home tomorrow morning, Saturday morning. That's what's on the agenda for today so far. So far today, we got a beautiful day though. And some, well, if you look that end over there, we got clouds, but if you look out straight ahead of me, I got beautiful sunshine, so. Well, nothing exciting, it was a good night. Let's get this, uh, let's get this thing started here and let's get out of here. Let's get our day going. Did you guys make your bed? Any of you guys make your bed? I made my bed. about anybody else my age but I'm finding it harder to drive at night now I'm not old by any means I'm 52 but I'm just finding it harder and harder uh, when the sun goes down especially with the oncoming traffic now with their headlights I'm just finding it harder and harder to drive at night my eyes are stressed and uh, it makes me tired Or, uh, I would rather get up uh, an hour or two before sunrise and drive in, in the dark then rather than uh, you know be driving till 9 10 11 o'clock at night you know when you're in the three or four hours worth of in the darkness I, I got I got friends of mine they love to drive at night and I used to I used to enjoy it as well because you know you, you got less traffic, especially if you're going into, say, a metropolitan city, you get into some of the bigger cities, you know, it's obviously easier to get in and out of them um, in the middle of the night. But nowadays, it's like, no, I'd rather get up early when the sun's just coming up. Right about now is my is my happy time. Not that I'm really overly happy. It's not like you're going to catch me doing cartwheels or something, but um, I prefer this. You know, the sun's just come up, it's daylight. I've got a good 12 or 13, especially in the summer now, I got a good 12 or 13 hours of, uh, of daylight to get my work done. So I can, I can get all my work done during the day, in daylight hours, I'm driving. I get shut down, it's usually, you know, the sun is just going down, so it's still daylight. Got here. Look at that flag. Let me see that flag. That's nice. For once, I actually got a tailwind. Wonderful. Wind is coming out. It looks like wind is coming out of the southeast. Fantastic for the next 10 miles. And then we're going due south down 79. I swear to God, if, if there was a wind ferry or something, I couldn't pay to get a break. Pop, 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 <laughs> you know, that's old age. 
You know, when you've got body parts and shoulders that are going pop, ping. My whole spine, everything behind me sounds like a bowl of Rice Krispies. Here's a here's one that's tricky that nobody really likes to do in the day. As you can see the sunlight. We have to back inside. You can see we got to back inside the building and it's dark in there and it's light out here and it is really quite difficult. It's one of those things that you can't really practice on. You just got to do a lot of it.
too shabby. The trick to doing this, to backing up indoors when you're going from really bright outside to dark inside, make sure you have clean mirrors. Really, really clean mirrors. You got dirty mirrors, like even if you run through water and the water, you got like a water film or dried water spots, it'll kill you. You'll actually absolutely have to get out and clean your mirrors. So not bad. I haven't done that in a while. Yeah, that's a good looking guy. So we finally found the last place. I didn't bother recording the, the scale, all that. So you saw we've come on the scale, we got scaled. Somebody came over and then they escort you to this building here. And it's on the other side of town. So we'll be talking to the company because now I've, I've just run around for about nine miles on my own dime. So I'm not a big fan of that. And uh, it's another one of these places. You want me now? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So it's one of these places where you need to back in and you're backing down a ramp as you back in. Sorry about that wind. But as you can see, this one's got the blue and red light. That's actually quite handy. So we're gonna back this thing in. See how much luck we have. Son of a bitch. Now, shame on me. I don't even know what the hell they're loading. All, all I see is a bunch of drums sitting on skids. As far as I can see, that's. So I guess we're about to find out what we're getting. I know that it's heavier than hell. No, nope. guess not. It's, it's like totes. back in a minute so the supervisor comes over and uh, he wants to know what I'm doing so I tell him I'm just you know train filming for a training video which realistically I could be right one of you fuckers is gonna watch this and go oh that's cool that's how you do it so but he wanted to make sure I didn't get any of his employees in there and I'm, I'm thinking like what's the big deal if one of his employees faces was in there you know, unless he's like on America's Most Wanted or something, or, you know, the whole building's filled with, you know, US felons. I don't know, but I can oblige that. I'll make sure there's nobody's faces and the company name's not in it. Not that I, uh, not that I blame him, because this is quite the shithole. Quite the shithole.
Oh. You're only putting 15 of those things on and there's two of them loading, so it shouldn't take too long. My stabilizer's screwing up. Like it's, it's usually a lot more sensitive than this, so I have to actually turn it certain ways to get it to do things. And if I turn it and it doesn't happen, I turn it one thing too far, it goes zoom. Like there, I just did it there, zoom. Sorry. I'll buy a new stabilizer. Well, go figure. Price you pay for doing business. Actually, it's not my price. This is on the company. Blew an airbag on the trailer. What can you do? Uh, yes, I'm in a rush to get home. Yes, we have the wheel burner barbecue this weekend, tomorrow, and it's Friday, and Dar's already not happy that I'm not gonna be rolling in the door till Saturday morning, but there's nothing I can do. Um, loads take time, loads took long, blowing an airbag, what can you do, man? Luckily for me, um, it went, and I was right on the 90 and I was coming up. I was a mile from the exit for Ashtabula for, in Ashtabula for, at the Loves. Took it into Loves. All right, here, fix it. They're paying for it. So it's just my time, right? It's just my time. That sucks balls. What can you do though? It, that's trucking. That's just trucking. There's one of those you, you notch it up to. All right, gonna be late. I'm looking at my own glare. I left the stabilizer in the truck. It's not working all that shit hot anyway, so I'm just kind of holding this thing and winging it. But Loves has a policy now, and I, it's been a while since I've had an on-road breakdown, so you can't wait in the truck. They take your keys, and you cannot wait in your truck anymore. So, uh, you know, and they don't have, you know, it's a Loves. They don't have a, a waiting lounge. They don't have a, a driver's lounge. They got a little room in the in the shop, you know, with one chair that looks like it's ready to collapse if I put my 220 pound frame into it. So uh, it's a beautiful day. I think I'll just walk around and get a sunburn and uh, soak up some sun and get, get a little bit of exercise. Probably wouldn't kill me. Anyway, been in there for about 10 minutes they haven't done anything like there's nobody here the, the, the bays are all empty i'm the only i'm the only truck getting serviced and i walked in there there was four guys standing around so i guess they'll get to it when they get to it oh well. with that oh there's a burger king over there i shouldn't i really shouldn't no we won't go that way we're gonna go this way there's a McDonald's at this, at this loves. I don't know, like that is, that is absolute like kryptonite to me. It really is, I fucking love it. I love double cheeseburgers. Double cheeseburgers, McDonald's double cheeseburgers. I'll eat two of those and a large fries and I'm such a happy man for about an hour. And then afterwards the gut rot and the heartburn kick in and I'm miserable, but it's so, it's almost so worth the hour. Oh, look at those big golden arches up there. They're just calling my name. You guys hear that? They're calling me. Those golden arches are just calling me. Oh, well. I'm going to cut it off here now so you guys are never going to know whether I did or I didn't. See you in a bit. What a shit day. I'm not usually one to bitch, because I just don't bitch. And if I do, I don't bitch to you guys, but I'm gonna fucking bitch. No, I'm not gonna be a fucking bitch. I'm just going to bitch. I have, at home right now, I have a very, I'm gonna have to say she's pissed off, but she's overworked and a little stressed. <clears throat> and I, okay, she's pissed off and I don't blame her. This is one of the pitfalls 
to doing what we do. We're truck drivers and this is one of the pitfalls. I'm supposed to be home right now. I should have been, I should have made it home tonight. Instead, I'm in Corfu, New York. I'm on the 90. I'm at the, at the what am I, the Flying J or the Pilot or whatever this shit hole is. And, you know, I started my day good. Had a good day. Ran down to get offloaded. We did that. That was almost two hours. Ran over to get reloaded. Loaded. It was only 51 miles away. That was well over two hours. That was bordering on three hours to get loaded. So just offloading and reloading was three hours. Then I blow an airbag. There's four guys standing around doing fuck all. That was another two fucking hours. So I lost seven hours of my day. Sorry, this guy's got his APU running. There's seven hours of my day I lost today. Loading, offloading, or offloading, loading, and then blowing an airbag. Now, I can understand, you know, it takes time to offload, it takes time to reload, nothing. But for what I did, for where I was and what was going on, it should have not taken that amount of time. Okay, that's seven hours. For what happened to me today, that's a three hour ordeal. Maybe three and a half. So that's three and a half hours I lost, hence I'm in Corfu, New York. And that sucks balls. And now I've got a cranky wife at home because we've got the barbecue tomorrow, being Saturday, and I'm probably not gonna come rolling in the door until like noon. I have to take this load up to the yard, switch, get my load for next week and take it home with me. Um, uh, for which you guys are gonna be really happy with this because Dar's coming out in the truck with me for the next two weeks. So, I don't know, it could be exciting. It's gonna be exciting. But, um, and then I gotta go home and it's 90 miles from there to my house. So, what's happening is why is she bitchy? Well, she's bitchy because I'm not at home. I should be there helping her. You know, getting everything set up, getting, you know, you know, food prepared, getting all the shit. But unfortunately, it's fall, it has fallen all on her shoulders. And she works full time too. You know, she runs her own business. She works for herself. She runs, you know, um, uh, whatever, her business that she does. So she's got a job. And now all of this has fallen on top of her. So I don't blame her for being upset. Sorry, babe, I love you. But. This is one of the pitfalls to being a truck driver. Um, I don't know how many birthdays, Christmases, um, you know, I'll be home Friday night, come rolling in Saturday. I'll be home Saturday night, come rolling in Sunday. I'll be home Friday night, come rolling in Tuesday. You know, it is what we do. This is part of the business. You know, there's no sense me jumping up and down, screaming, yelling, losing my fucking mind, because I'll just have a stroke and die behind the steering wheel. So there's no sense doing that, but, I do understand and, and if you are, you know, new to our channel or you're new to trucking, know that this is definitely going to be um, part of your life, you know, you better have a, a wife at home or a husband at home or a partner at home uh, that is willing to accept part this as part of it. Um, th th this isn't an every week thing, this is, you know, this happens once in a while, but luckily for me, um, Dar and I have been doing this a long fucking time. So, you know, when I phone her, usually, like if there was no barbecue or nothing tomorrow and I was to phone her and say, okay, you know, I'm supposed to be home tonight, but I won't be home until tomorrow. She's like, all right, well, what time do you want me to get you? Or what, whatever, you know, it's no big deal. She's just, you know, it's what it is. But in this case here, you know, she's got shit doing going on. I've got shit going on and we, you know, she needs help and I'm not there to help her. So, oh, well, I'm gonna, probably go watch the rest of James Best is live right now. So, I'm gonna go watch some of that. Grab a bite to eat. My uh, my truck is empty for food, so I don't have a meal left. Um, I'm just gonna, I hate to say this, but I'm gonna go grab a piece of pizza. I don't know what it is, I love Flying J pizza. So I'm gonna go grab a slice of pizza 
And uh, with that, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications, and uh, give us a thumbs up, would you? We'll see you down the road.